Sneak News here, yes again, back again. Today we've got OpenSUSE 12.3. Now this is the net install version. The ISO is only around about 200 megabytes, but you must obviously have a live internet connection. It takes around about an hour in total. Between 45 minutes and an hour, it took my about 55 minutes. <clears throat> But with that, you get a complete full install with all the updates at the same time. If you've done uh, OpenSUSE before, you install it from the ISO, and there's loads and loads and loads of updates to do afterwards, which is a bit of a pain at the posterior sometimes. So, you know, I thought, I'll give them that install a go. And for me, it's working really, really nice. Now, this is the XFCE version, okay? So it looks basic XFCE, so that's nice. OpenSUSE installed, lovely jabbly, I like it. Nice new background. Remember, the, the actual release is not until another seven days. So next Wednesday, which is the 13th of March, I think it is. Unlucky for some, or is that Fridays? Fridays, maybe. Okay, we'll give you a quick look around and we'll go through some features for you. Menu down here, obviously, you've got your bar down here. Two workspaces, you can have as many as you like, of course. Volume, turn the volume up a bit, I haven't done that much. Okay. Volume's up, time and me, because it's installed, okay. And you get the icons on the desktop for home, a file system and your wastebasket, which should be a rubbish bin. <sighs> okay, straight to the menu. Oh, by the way, if you right-click the desktop, like so, you can get the applications here if you want to, okay, so that's all right. But I'll go down here. Right up under accessories, remember it's basic XFCE. I've actually installed Docky, okay, but I just haven't run it yet. It runs all right, fine, that's what it says on the tin. You also get desktop search, a file roller, GNOME calculator, or GNOME as it should be, GNOME character map, leaf pad, main menu, Orange, always in XFCE, and the XFCE application finder, and take a screenshot and passwords and keys. Under games, get usual and load of GNOME stuff as well because I've installed something with GNOME, okay? And the graphics, right, I've installed Blender. I thought just make sure the software center works. I'll show you that in a second. As you can see, Blender comes up nicey, nicey. And the version you get is 2.64, which works very nice. I'm still getting my head around it, but it works, okay? So that's nice. Okay, what else under graphics? Right, you get GIMP as standard, and in theory that should be 2.8. And it is, look, let's have a look. I'll have a bit of coffee while I'm here. Caffeine free, of course. Mm -hmm. And we'll just wait for that to load up a bit. I've not actually run this one before, the Gimpage that is. So we'll just wait for it to do its stuff. And I'm not sure if it's going to come up in three windows, two windows, or one window. But I'm sure we're just about to find out when Gimpage starts. Oh, you got the free window. Okay. You can change it to one window. It's no big deal. Gimpage is here. It works. It does what it says on the tin. Okay. And the internet. You get Firefox for your main browser, Pigeon, Rimina, Thunderbird, and Transmission. So open up the Fox. And you'll see just what I mean. Most current version, of course. Back to victory one, hurry up. Thank you. And there we go. Okay, as you can see, seven days to go for the one you want. You can go and get the release candidates if you want to. I'll just click on there for you and you'll see what I mean. Blah, blah, blah. If you want to get a development release, you can get it here, which is what I got here, the net install version. There's 64, 32 bit, and arm images as well, if you've got an arm, or two arms, or a leg, even. So just go there for you. We'll go to the development release page and you can have a look. And there we go, you can get it here. And this is the one that I got, okay? Super of the duper. You can just choose whatever you want. Yeah, nice. Okay, add a Firefox, that's enough of that. We're going to multimedia. We get Brazero, the rhythm box as your player, sound juicer and a video player, which would be M player. Under Office, you do get the full LibreOffice suite. Remember, it does take all that time as it's a net, net install CD. Okay. Under System, about your name, the HP Toolbox as standard for your HP printers. Remember, if you're going to get a printer to use in Linux, most of them do work out of the box now. But if you want all the bits and bobs, go for HP printer and scanners. Does what it says, okay? We'll go to our task manager, CE, and as you can see, I'm using 16. Well, it's going up and down, it doesn't know what it wants to do, okay? But normally it idles around 5-6% on this particular machine I'm using now, okay? Oh, and there's some more software updates. I'm not going to do them just yet, okay? I'll do them in a minute. I installed it yesterday, can't believe it. Well, right, done system, do we? You also get the file manager, which is Thunar, the XFC terminal, and Xterm. Under settings, you get your settings manager. I'll quickly open it up for you. And you can see it's basic XFCE. That's what it says on the tin. Nice and stable. Remember, you can get GNOME, you can get KDE, you can get MATE, you know, me MATE, you can get everything like that, whatever you want to. Super. 
You also get run program <clears throat> about XFCE, so I'll open it up because it is XFCE 4.10 as you can see, so that's nice. And we'll go back down here for you. Right, you can get Yast, which is fully improved, so manage your system worldwide, a bit like settings manager really, and install and remove software. So I'll click on there. What's my password? There we go. Let that load up for a second. Mm -hmm. And I must say, it's a lot quicker than the last OpenSUSE I did. Yeah, awful lot quicker. So we'll find something quickly to install, which I'm just going to do Abbey Word. And it'll probably come up as I do it. Yep, there we are. I'm going to click on the clicky thing there. It really decides it's finished what it's doing. We want there documentation and library files. Yes, that's what it says. And it wants eight dependencies. And all you do, you click on apply, right there, and apply again. It will start downloading everything you need. Okay, there you go. Look. Zoom, 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 zoom. It's going to take about 20 seconds, I suppose, 25 seconds, if that. Which ain't too bad, really, is it? Now, when I first started using OpenSUSE back in the day, it was quite slow and laborious. But now, especially when you've got the XFC desktop, it's nice and fast and super lovely. So we've got a few megabytes installing there, 19 to go, 250 to go, almost done, 5, 3, 2, 1, and you're done. Yeah, that's it. That's all it takes. Nice and quick now. Now you can see what I've found. It's really, really quick. I really like it. So go to Office. Abbey Word should be there. We'll open him up. It will be 292, but we'll just check about Abbey Word. No, it's 286. Nice and stable. I love you guys. I love you. I love you guys for 286. It's really great. And that's basically all you need to know. You can get Flash for it. You can download Google Chrome for it if you wanted to. So I'll go back to the... Uh, the uh, <clears throat> sorry. I'll go back to install and remove again. Because, I, I mean, I like Chromium, but some of you like Google Chrome. So I'll quickly put my password in again. If I put Chrome in in a second, and we'll see what it comes up with. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Right, let's type in Chrome. No. That's not it. It's just a Chrome driver. So that's no good for us. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open him up. We're going to go to the internet. If it open up again, I'm going to type in Google Chrome. And see what it says. Google Chrome browser, English, that's for me. Yes, we want it for Linux as well. So yes, download Chrome. 30 bit, 2 bit for Fedora, open SUSE. Remember, it's an RPN, not a DEB. Remember, I'm going to accept that. It's doing something. Yes, here we are. I'm going to save it to file, okay? So I'm going to OK that. It'll start downloading for us. Nearly done. It should be done really quick, actually. Yeah, I've got a nice fast connection this morning. As it's only 10 30 in the morning, I finished early today. Mm. I'm just going to wait for it to download for us, and then we're going to quickly install it. I mean, I could have gone just install straight from the install remove uh, manager, but I thought I'd do it this way just to show you a different way of doing it. Right, we're done, okay? So we can come out of that, we can come out of that, and we'll go to our home folder. Oh, we can activate that. Let's go and activate. Activate, activate, activate. Let's see if it does anything first, shall we? Okay, all right, we'll do then. We'll open up our file manager. That's better. Go to Downloads, OK. Open with Install and Remove Software. So click on there. Password again. Da, 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 da. If you're new to Linux, you, this is the way to do it. I mean, some of you only just started using it. A lot of people have used it for years and years and years, like me. And if you don't know and you can't find anything, this is it. Review, and yeah, 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 that's fine. Yeah, we can do that. Close. Apply. And there we go. That's its bits for us. And we'll just wait. And wait and wait. Mm hmm Oh no, was he doing something else first? No, I think he's doing something else first. Okay, I can live with that. We wait and wait and wait. It's installing, installing, installing. I think it's installing, installing. Got loads of megabytes to install. Loads and loads and loads. It wasn't supposed to do this, was it? No, it wasn't, no. So we'll just wait a bit longer. Oh yeah, it was Google Chrome, yes. There's a load of dependencies. Silly me. What was I thinking, even? Anyway, that's how you do it, basically. We're just going to wait for it to install, and I'll open it up for you. You can see it's all done and lovely chapel and everything like that. 
We'll move that up a bit so we can do that. I could go to another window, couldn't I? Yeah, I'll go to another window while it's doing stuff there. Right, you can also run a program from the menu and log out. Don't forget that. And that's all basically you get. The rest you have to install yourself. Oh yeah. Shall I wait? Yeah, we'll wait a bit longer. And a bit longer. And a bit longer. Oh, did you see my last video, by the way, on War Thunder in Linux? Yes. If you're interested in flying games from the World War II era, huh? turbos, props, and the first jets, etc., even biplanes and bombers, go and give it a go. It does run in wine. Super duper. But you will need a reasonable graphics card for it to do what it's got to do. Okay? Hmm. You know what? I'm not even going to wait for that to finish installing. Because it's taking too long. Oh, I lied. Look, just as I say that, it does it. Right, we're finished. Okay, we can now do that. We can close that window there. We should go down to our internet menu. Mm -mm -mm. Google Chrome. Will it boot up? Or will it not? Who knows? It should do that. Make, no, I don't want to make it the default browser, do I? Start Chrome. Find for 321. There you are. The actual Google Chrome browser for you to use. Just to get the started page, sign in page, and that's the buy buy page. Nice. So yeah, OpenSUSE 12.3 when it's released next week will be really, really good. I'm really looking forward to trying the other desktops out as well to see if they're any faster. And they've got rid of the glitches that was, I was moaning about before quite a while ago. Last time I've done one anyway. But yeah, the XFC net install is really nice and easy, but just give yourself an hour to do it. Nice. Sneaky. Linux. Out. Actually, Linux. Bye-bye.